Hello guys and welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. Today we'll be covering a static section problem, specifically under part C, equilibrium of rigid bodies. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, everybody now. Now let's go over the question together. So the collar A is fixed to the shaft and it can move vertically through the member. And we want to find the reaction at support A. So to solve for this problem, the first thing you guys need to do is draw the reaction forces at A and then also at B. Now just be careful because at support A, the collar moves vertically, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now once you have all your reaction forces, then the next step is to set up the summation of the forces on the Y equation so that you can find the reaction at B and then after that you can set up the moment equation so that you can find the support at A okay so with that information why don't you guys go ahead and pause the video make sure that you guys try the problem attempt it it's very important that when you guys are preparing for the FE that you actually try to solve the problems and then in a little bit we'll go over it together <music> Now, if you guys find this problem helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And also make sure to download this cheat sheet. It has very important concepts and equations that you need to know for your FE exam. Okay, guys, so this is how our free body diagram is going to look like. So at B, since we have a roller, which is going to have one reaction, the vertical reaction, that's going to be BY, okay? Now at A, so A, we have a fixed end, right? Fixed support. So we're going to have a moment at A, but we're not going to have AY because the collar is moving vertically. AY is going to be zero, okay? So we're not gonna have AY. Now AX, we have AX, but AX also gonna be zero because we have no forces in the X direction, okay? Now let's go, have, go ahead and set up our equilibrium equations. Now let's go ahead and start with the summation of the forces on the y equals to zero. So the reason why we're starting with this equation, it's because we need to find by before we can actually set up the moment equation, okay? Now our sign convention is going to be this, so up is going to be positive. Now also note guys here that we just assume the direction for by and the moment at a. Now, what that means is that if we get a negative answer, it just means that our assumption is wrong and that BY should be going down, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, if we take a look at the Y direction, the only two forces we have is 500 and BY. So we're gonna have BY, which is going to be positive because it's going in the same direction as our sign convention, minus 500, okay? Because my 500 is going down and our sign convention is up, so it's going to be minus. And so this is going to be equal to zero because that's the only forces we have in the y direction. Now, by is going to be equal to 500 pounds. Now let's go ahead and set up our moment equation. So we're going to do the summation of the moment at a equals to zero. And we're going to assume clockwise to be positive. Now, if we do that, we're going to have the moment at a. Now, note guys, moment at a is going to be positive because it's, this, it's going in the same direction as our sign convention. And then we're going to have plus 300 pounds foot. So remember, guys, this is a moment, right? So make sure that you include it only in your moment equation, okay? And it's also going to be positive because, again, it's going in the same direction as our sign convention. And then we're going to have the force, the 500 pounds. So that's going to be positive, right? Because the moment is going clockwise and then the force is going down so they go in the same direction so we're going to do 500 pounds but we have to multiply it by the moment arm so that moment arm is going to be 1.5 right because it's 1.5 away from where we're taking the moment okay so it's going to be this distance here from here all the way to where the force is so that's going to be 1.5 feet and then we're going to have minus so for BY, it's going to be minus because it's going opposite of our sign convention. So the moment is going this direction and then BY is going up, right? So it's the opposite, so it's going to be minus BY. Now we solved for BY, which is 500 pounds, and then we're going to multiply it by the moment arm. Now the moment arm for BY, it's going to be this direction, okay? So because this is where BY is, okay? So it's going to be from here, from this point where we're taking the moment, which is A, all the way to where b is okay so this whole distance now the distance from a to here that's three feet right and now we just need to find this distance here let's call it x we can easily find this 
distance because we were giving the angle, right? So let's add here first three feet, okay? And then we're gonna do plus x, let's find it here, okay? So that way it's not confusing. So here we're gonna have x, right? And this is going to be our hypotenuse. This is a right triangle, okay? This angle here is 45 degrees. So just simple trigonometry, guys. And I have these equations on the cheat sheet, okay? So make sure that you guys download it if you haven't yet. So what we're going to do here is do cosine, right? So the reason why we're doing cosine is because it's the adjacent side, right? So we're going to do cosine 45 is equal to the adjacent side, which is x, over the hypotenuse, which is 1 foot. So x is going to be 1 foot times cosine 45, Okay, so make sure that you guys really understand this and trigonometry. It's very important when it comes to statics. So here we're going to go ahead and add x, which is going to be 1 foot times cosine 45 degrees. So that's all the forces that we have. So we're going to go ahead and do this equation equals to 0. So now we can solve for the moment at A. So all you guys need to do is just rearrange the equation. So take all the numbers to the other side, plug that in in your calculator. And if you guys do that, you're going to get 804. Now, the units for this, it's going to be pound foot. That's the unit for the moment, right? And also note, guys, that every term in our equation has the unit of pound foot, okay? Make sure that you guys always check your units and make sure that they add up, okay? Now, if we go ahead and take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be B. Now, if you guys want to pass your FE exam this year, go ahead and comment below 2023. And also, I want you guys to know that you can still do it. You still got time. You have six months. You can still pass your FE exam. And make sure to check out our latest webinar where I give you the exact steps that you need to make sure that you pass your FE exam this year. So make sure to check that out. And then also make sure to check out this playlist here where students share their stories and how they pass the FE exam in 2023. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We are here to help you. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.